All right, so what I've got here is a Max NC four axis CNC end mill. And this is a pretty old piece of hardware right here. Uh, the, uh, the actual unit looks pretty good, but when you look at the controller here, you'll realize, especially when you look at the board, the actual controller board, with the circuit, you'll actually realize it's actually pretty old. So I've got the whole setup, including the old XP machine. It's got Windows XP on it, and it's got the software to run the CNC machine. The software came on floppy disks, and one of these disks was corrupt, but I was able to recover the data from the install on the computer, so that's all good. Uh, I'm not going to be running the software off this machine. I'm going to put it on a laptop, virtualize it, and then I'm going to be using this uh, I'm using this printer serial port to USB adapter from the laptop to run the printer. Unfortunately though, this thing does uh, doesn't work all the way. It's got a bad, it's got two bad axes, the X axis and the A axis, which runs the fourth axis. And so we've only got up and down and forward and back that are working right now. And the culprit has got to be the control board here. So this is the control board and you can see it's all pretty, it's a lot of discrete components. There's, it's not microprocessor controllers, it's transistors and, and simple timer chips and stuff like that. So it should be pretty easy to repair. I've already tested swapping these uh, seated chips around to see if that uh, changed what axes were working and which weren't, and it doesn't. Um, they could be these chips here that need to be replaced, which should be pretty easy. I think they're about, I think I found those were really cheap. But I, after looking more carefully and closely, if you take a look at that chip, that transistor right there, now it's in focus, you can see it's got a crack running right through it. And what's more difficult to see on camera is that that nylon uh, screw is actually discolored like it got really hot. So I'm guessing that the uh, transistor is bad. So I've gone ahead and ordered a bunch of new ones um, that should be compatible with that. And then the, uh, the other axis that's bad is this one, the A axis, which is uses these four transistors and I don't see any visible damage on it but I'm gonna go ahead and assume that it's probably the same problem as this other axis so if I confirm that that's the problem with both axes what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and replace all the transistors because that should be pretty easy to do and I'll look into if there's something I can do to get better uh, thermal conductivity for these things as well uh, so that they don't overheat some more. Alright so that's my list of things to do right now is to replace those transistors. Um, I've just got to set up a better soldering station. I don't want to solder here on this table which is plastic on this carpet which is synthetic. So I'll have to move some stuff somewhere else to get that going. But yeah so so far, though, I'm pretty excited. I'm not sure exactly what I want to be doing with this thing. There doesn't seem to be anything of a community around uh, CNC end mills, anything like there is for things like 3D printing. It's just not as accessible, and there's not as much talk or discussion or openness about it. So um, it's a little. It's, I'll have to get into that a little more and figure out what I'm doing. But I'm I'm really happy and excited. Uh, this thing is this thing's crazy. This this uh, fourth axis right here. It's about it's about eight pounds. It's really heavy, deceptively heavy. That thing's got to be anyway. 
So uh, that's basically my list of things to do right now is just to test those transistors. Uh, so that's my list of things to do right now. So that's my list of things to do right now is to replace those transistors and test that. And what do we have to be? To... <laughs> so that's my list of things to do right now uh, to replace those transistors and test that. Once I've got this actual machine up and running, then I'll have to start worrying about other things like the virtual machine, running it off a laptop, and then, you know, most importantly, what I'm even going to do with it, um, what I'm going to make. Uh, I haven't found that there's so much of a community as there is with things like 3D printing because this stuff isn't nearly as accessible as that. I mean, this machine probably would have been, with this configuration, uh, five thousand dollars new or more, and this is not a very big machine either. This is a little tabletop rig, so hope to see uh, what I can figure out about you know what I want to do with it, what I want to make, you know what would be fun, what would be productive, and what would be within my uh, abilities, and what would be within the abilities of the software that I have for this, because I don't know with a janky old, you know, MS-DOS program, how well that will work with, you know, modern, uh, well, with, <laughs> with newer stuff. I don't even, I don't even know where, how you, where you export the G-code from to make your files. Uh, so it'll be, this will be fun little experience. So there we go. Um, stay tuned and we'll see how far with this I'm able to go.